Welcome back to my channel. Uh, when I first came across this film stock, I was super excited with like the look that the unique look of green and red tones and the harsh halations around bright objects in the frame that just hits you like a ton of bricks. It is a notorious film stock to be sold out as soon as you get uh, you know a new batch released. So I found like one roll of 120 format, loaded up my Pentax 6x7 and went out to shoot. The T in 800T means it's tungsten balanced film stock, which means it's suitable to be used um, around artificial light sources. So, you know, and the slightly higher ISO of 800 makes it a bit more usable um, when it's darker. I think that was a good first roll. I, I did enjoy it and like all good things in life, this one has to come to an end. I went and bought a bunch of more Cinecell rolls, both in 135 and 120 format. And this time I loaded up my Nikon F4S um, with the 50mm f1.8 D lens and went to shoot. I learned that tungsten film could be shot in the day using an 85B orange filter. So this one's a Hoya uh, filter that I bought from eBay for like eight bucks used. Until I came to know about this orange filter, I was kind of skeptical about using cine still film um, more regularly because of its kind of limited use, even though the look that it gives is amazing. Um, but now that I can shoot during daylight um, with the film with the help of that filter. It kind of widens the use for me at least. Um, I can load up my camera during the day, shoot some rolls and then come evening I can remove the filter and shoot through the evening. But I've also seen other photographers shoot this film during daytime without any filters uh, and that is a, another unique look that you get. Although I didn't try it this time around, I'll probably try it next time. But yeah, I'm really pleased with how the day daytime photos turned out as well. Um, final thoughts, I really enjoyed shooting this film. I think it's cool what CineStill are doing. Uh, they're basically taking Kodak's motion picture film, you know, Vision 500T, and removing uh, a layer, um, Remjet layer, which enables the film to be developed like any other color negative film using a C41 process. So, you know, otherwise it would take me 10, 15 bucks to develop one roll, but with because of this process that they do it cost me less than five bucks to develop one role which is good um so yeah i think what they're doing is cool i did enjoy shooting the film with the filter i can see myself shooting this film in sort of more diverse conditions it doesn't feel as restrictive anymore so yeah um but that's about it um 
thank you so much for watching again and i truly appreciate you giving me your time take care and i'll see you guys in the next one bye